What's up, Tech Nine, man? Tech Nine? Yes, sir. Hey, did he say he's this Tech Nine? Tech Nine, tech what's nine. up, man? What's going on, bro? <laughs> tech Nine in the what's building. Up, man? man, we've been waiting, bro. We're over here breaking the sweat. Um, so sorry, man. My meeting dude had a lot more people than I thought it when it kind of went over time, you know? That, that's a good problem to have, then. You must be doing something right. Yes, sir, man. It's a blessing. So Tech Nine coming to Amarillo, Texas this Wednesday. Oh, it is going to be a packed house. Part of his uh, oh, yeah. planet tour, and you're going to be rolling through the 806. Oh, yes, I am, man. I can't wait, man. We're on our way. So, uh, Tech, you're from, uh, you're from KC, Kansas City. Born and raised Kansas City, Missouri, baby. You know what I'm saying? You a Chiefs fan? Of course. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Of course I am. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, you know, um, born and raised the Chiefs fan, Royals fan, Gordon KC, anything, anything got to do with Kansas City. It's all me. Even the Missouri Tigers. You know what I'm saying? Do you try to make to uh, as many games as you can? Yes, but I'm always on the road. But um, whenever I can, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I love going to the games. You know, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, this guy has been at it for years. Album after mm -hmm. album. Long. Sellout concert yeah. after sellout concert and you're still doing it yeah. because it's crazy you go into to, uh, some of your shows and it's all ages you know it's not you're yeah, not just going to see an older demo you still see this younger generation <laughs> supporting your yeah. mu music loving your music knowing it word for word yeah man they're, they're getting younger and younger as I get older it's such a blessing man I don't, I don't know what it is but they love Tech 9 man and I'm going to keep on giving it to them you know Hey, man, so you spend a lot of time on the road, and you, you do, like, you know, over hundreds of shows every year. I do 200, I, I, I do 250 shows a year. Wow, Lee, wow. that is crazy. So uh, I got yeah. I to I gotta ask, man, I mean, being completely honest, do you, do you remember the last show you did in Amarillo? Because, <laughs> you, I mean, you do so uh, many. <laughs> the last show I did in Amarillo, no, I don't know. Man, you know, it's been a long time. It's been, it's been a very long time. I didn't get to make it to yes. that one. But, man. but I will tell wow. you. Since you, you, don't, you don't remember, we are home of the 72-ounce steak, so you yeah. might remember that. Oh, yeah, but I can't do that until after the show, man. That, that's, too much, that's too much beef to be carrying on stage and trying to break dance that don't nobody want none, you know what I mean? Hey, man, have you ever, like, <laughs> ate, ate a lot or drank a lot, and then you're on stage and you're in the middle of your set, and then you're like, oh, man, no, nah, not right now. That, that's, why, that, that's why I know not to do that, because we've been down there, but... About to throw up on stage before because we ate too much before or we drank too much before and it's all in your throat while you're trying to rap. Oh, no. man. You've done a, up to 250 shows a year. You're put in a situation like that. Uh-oh, that, that stomach is bubbling. What do you do? You Do you, I mean, kind of, I mean. <laughs> it, happened, it, it, it happened to me. It happened to me <laughs> way back in the day uh, in, in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I had ate some Vinnigans. I don't know why I did it because we don't even have Vinnigans <laughs> in Kansas City anymore. You know what I'm saying? I ate some Chicken quesadillas with sour cream and everything. Oh, no, day. not the sour cream. I got on stage, right before I got on stage, I started feeling my stomach bubbling. Oh, and man. And Einstein, it was almost about to come out. Now, luckily, <laughs> um, I had two guys on the stage with me that, back then, Cut Calhoun and Chris Calico. Cut Calhoun had a solo like performance right in the middle of my show. So while he did that, I had my security rush me to the bathroom, <laughs> kick everybody out. God. So I had to run through the crowd to get to the bathroom. No. Never again, dude. Yes. With the mic in my hand. With the mic in my hand. You know so what I mean? that, that's why you're requesting, that's why in your writer you request a private bathroom then. <laughs> <laughs> that's very important. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so your latest track, Don't Nobody Want None, I have to ask, are are you uh, are are you b-boy yes i am old school b-boy um still to this day if you come to the show in Amarillo, you'll see me bust a move no on, during that song you know what i'm saying bro when i heard that track jam i was like oh my god he's bringing it back he's I love bringing it back yes, yes the beats yes, of the b-boy days i dedicated it to all the djs man you know what i mean 1983 or i think it was 83 or 84 when out the feast came out the soul and it was such a beautiful break dance and pop rock track that I was so blessed to have Hashem say, yes, I can use it. And I did it justice, man. When I heard it that night, I went to YouTube and I started watching mm -hmm. Beat Street. I started watching yeah. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Crush Groove. Yes. You know oh, my God. Wild Style. Yes. Yeah. Turbo. 
Turbo. <laughs> Turbo and Ozone. Yeah. Hey man, yeah. so you got a uh, you got a new beer that just came out, right, man? Everybody's talking what? about it. Double XLs all yes. over. They, yeah, they say you got a new beer coming out. Uh, yeah, it's coming out. It's, I didn't. I had no idea that I would ever sell beer, and now it's here. <laughs> I had no idea because. The brewing company contacted us and said, hey, you guys ever thought about doing uh, a beer off of your drink, Caribou Lou? You know what I mean? I'm like, no. And they had us come down and taste it with pineapple and coconut, man, and it was actually delicious. Wow. And I can't wait for everybody to get a tip of it. It's called Blue Lou off of my drink I created in 1995 in Kansas City called Caribou Lou. And um, it's, it's, it's such a wonderful endeavor, man. So after the show, with it being a success this Wednesday night, can we all toast together? I'll see if I can get some down there, man, by that time. I don't know, man. I'll see. So uh, <laughs> if uh, people right here in Amarillo want to try your new beer, where could they find it? Well, we're, we're distributing it in certain places first, and then after the first batch is gone, we're going to expand and do, do it nationwide. But um, I think... But they can order it through the brewing company, um, a Boulevard Brewing Company. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Matt, whenever you're on the road and everything, like, oh, what's something that you do whenever you're not working? Because I, I remember, like, I think you were passing by Amarillo a couple of years ago. And I don't know if it was you or not, but somebody had posted a, uh-huh. a picture of you in the movie theater. Do you catch a lot of movies? That's or? me. Yeah? That's me. That's, <laughs> that's what I was going to tell you. That's, that's what I do in my pastime. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. in my free time, I go to the movies. I'm a movie buff. The last movie I saw, the last movie I saw out here, here was uh, Infinity War, you know what I'm saying, Avengers, nice. and I was mad as hell, I was mad as hell at Thanos, man, mad as hell, you can go on my Instagram, and you can see what I said about Thanos. So, when it comes to movies, let me just throw it out there, Tear Jerker, which one is it? Tear Jerker, John Q. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay, horror. Yes, horror film, um, Halloween 2, John Carpenter. What about your favorite adult film? <laughs> <laughs> hey, favorite adult film, favorite adult film. I have it at my house on DVD. It's called The Best of Pinky. (laughs) 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 These these are real answers. These are real answers. Let's talk about this album you're working on. I know you're about to drop another single out there. Yes, I am, man. It's a it's a song with me and Snow the Product and with Nave Manjo, man. It's called How I'm Feeling, and it's my second single, and it's out of this world, man. You know, Snow the Product is such a hardcore MC, and I've always loved her work, and we've been uh, we've been colleagues for a long time. I said we work together in music. You know what I mean? Uh, if she needs me, I'm there. If uh, if I need her, she's there. And uh, I think I might see her in the next couple days. Bro, let yeah. me tell you, she was out here a couple months ago. She killed it. Mm-hmm. On stage, and I think she's one of them artists, one of them female artists that is underappreciated. Oh, yeah. Because man, she got skills. She needs to be up there with some of the biggest female rappers. She will be. She will be, man. It's taken this long, but she's still hardcore and fresh, and you can hear it in our new single, man. She's out rapping a lot of the guys that are on the radio right now. You know what I mean? If not all of them. Yeah, you know? she's definitely, definitely talented. So you've been doing it for many years. Funny story. I want to say early. 2000 I was doing radio in Denver Colorado and I know that's one of your favorite places to go to I was also uh, DJing some of the clubs and there was a snowstorm that night and the club owner comes up to me and says hey you're gonna be DJing this after party for Tech 9 and I've never you know met you before but I remember you coming into the club and it had been snowing that night you had like Tech Uh 9 written on your forehead I'm like oh my god he's here and you I remember something like that man yeah, it, it was uh, back in early 2000, and man, I'm telling yes. you, uh, from from the concerts to the club, you, you know, I appreciate your work, I appreciate your stage presence, because you put 100% in it, and you know, that's something that yes. I love, is I love old school hip hop, because they put on a show, a show. Yes, yes, man, yes, man, um, if, you, if you get to, if you have time to see the show when I'm there, uh, you're going to see it's, it's even more energetic it's the best show i've put together thus far you know what i mean you do a lot a lot of shows man do you have any idea how many shows you've done total like giving it a guess no man you know but you gotta know that i'm in the guinness book of world records for how many shows we did me and mgk we did like 99 shows in 104 days or something like that whoa we got we got a world record holder on yeah yeah, yeah, we we always try to attempt on Wednesdays on our morning show a world record, but we always fail. Maybe mm-hmm. we can try to uh, uh, challenge you to a world record sometime. 
Yeah, I don't want to do that again, though. I don't want to do that again. Man. That <laughs> hurts so bad. You know, so 99 shows and 104 days, you crazy? Yeah. You're dead. Man, that's a lot of shows. That's a lot of work. Yeah. So I don't know how many I've done all together, but there's a whole bunch. I got to ask you, Tech, you know? you, you've been in the game a long, long time. You're one of the vets out there, man. You, you know hip-hop inside and out. What is your opinion mm-hmm. on the new generation of hip-hop? What do you think about the new stuff coming out? Hip-hop, hip-hop has been changing uh, since we started it. You know what I mean? Since it's started in the Bronx, it's always um, morphing into something else. Now, it might be uh, not your cup of tea from back in the day of your old school. You might say Nas. You might say you might say Rakim, uh, Kooji Rap, uh, LL Cool J, Run DMC. You know what I'm saying? But this is a new way, and you gotta let these youngins do what they do. It would, but you know, everything is out here for everybody. You know, there's Kendrick Lamar, there's Tech Nine, there's Eminem, there's J Cole. You know what I mean? There's yeah. uh, Jay Z, there's Drake. You know what I'm saying? There's Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? And um, I can't, I don't have too much to say about how it is now but let them youngins do their thing man you know what I'm saying because I got my thing and I'm doing my thing yeah because if hip hop yeah. if basically if hip hop would stay the same then it would you know it can't stay the same it always has to evolve and grow and exactly so Planet Tour coming Wednesday night to the Azteca Music Hall you work a lot you put a lot of hard work into your shows what are some of the things you like to do I know you like to go to the movies do you like to go fishing do you like to do hunting no <laughs> <laughs> he said no no I don't I like to go this is Tech 9 this is Disney World this is not Luke <laughs> Brian, you know, <laughs> and I'm going there in July after this tour. We're excited to have you here in Amarillo, Texas, and we definitely want to uh, to uh, let you uh, try our 72 ounce, our famous 72 ounce steak out here. <laughs> yeah. now, if we were to go to Kansas City and I said, "Hey, I want a good, um, I want a good taco," where would you tell me to go? A good taco, I would say, on the border. <laughs> 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 nah, for real, for real. My lady is Puerto Rican. I would say my house. Oh, Boricua. Yeah. Them yeah, Boricuas yeah. know how to cook a tacos. Yes, she does. <laughs> now, what if I wanted barbecue food? Because KC is no oh, barbecue. Goodness. We got that sewed up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all down there in Texas, y'all think y'all got it sewed up? We got that sewed oh, up. Oh, oh. We got a barbecue challenge. Memphis, <laughs> Memphis think they got it sewed up? No. We got it sold up, KC, baby. Man, he's serious you about this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm serious. This is, this is a serious thing. This is a serious thing. It's Gates Barbecue, uh, Jack Stack Barbecue, KC Masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Zarda. You know what I'm saying? It just goes on Kansas City Joe's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Arthur Bryant. You know you know what I mean? It does not stop. LC. Does Tech 9 like his ribs dry or saucy? I like mine saucy, extra sauce. Yeah. I'm a fat boy. <laughs> Man, now we're talking. At heart. Well, it, we're excited <laughs> to see you this Wednesday night at the Azteca yeah. Music Hall. I know it's going to be a killer show. Tickets are flying out the door. And uh, we're just blessed to have you in the 806 Wednesday night for the Planet Tour. Thank you, brother. I appreciate all y'all, man. I'll see y'all soon. I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, calling up and checking in on the Hacker Morning Show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's the Hacker Morning Show, the new Wild 104.3.